Hey guys, welcome back to Occasional Dilemma Gaming. I am Stando, and I know the news has been kind of slow here lately, but there really hasn't been a whole lot. I mean, yes, we could report on speculations and rumors, but that's not what I'm really all about, uh, especially when there's more speculation than there is truth. I mean, yes, loot boxes are coming back to Battlefront 2, but EA said that they would, and I didn't feel like there was anything new that we haven't already discussed there. There are some rumors about the next Call of Duty being Black Ops 3, and some rumors about the upcoming Assassin's Creed game as well, but nothing official. We all know that Call of Duty is coming out this year, and that they make their annual rounds, and we know that it's Treyarch's turn at bat, and whether or not it's actually bad black ops 3 considering the success of the recent world war 2 well you got to remember that treyarch's game would have been in development three years by the time it releases and so they don't know how well world war 2 is going to be so it is possible that it's black ops 3. The Assassin's Creed game, that's going to be way too far out to really speculate as we know for sure that Ubisoft is no longer making an annualized AC game. So there, we know that Ubisoft has come out and said that they're focusing on developing less buggy games and taking their time to get things right. So nothing really official there either. There are also some Red Dead Redemption 2 rumors and though I'm excited about that game, really excited about Red Dead 2. Uh, turns out those rumors are kind of false and just that rumors because the 2k CEO came out and talked to, and addressed some of them um, but a new console a new video game console well guys that's newsworthy Google of all people may be getting ready to step into the video game industry which is kind of weird but it does make sense if you consider some of their recent acquisitions if you didn't know, Google hired Phil Harrison, who is best known for a 15-year stint that he did over at Sony's Game Studios. Then he spent three years as a senior executive on the Xbox team. Safe to say he's not new to the gaming industry in any way. They've also made some game studio acquisitions that are already turning out games on the Google Play Store. Many reports around the industry is that a new console codenamed the Yeti could be unveiled this year as a micro console that is dedicated to streaming video games. And if you don't know what a micro console is, think Ouya, right? If you remember that Ouya was a Kickstarter console that was low budget and offered indie and mobile style gaming in console format. Here's the real kicker though. The Yeti though, it, it's setting out to be different because reportedly Google wants to use it to stream triple A style games straight to the living room, kind of like how the PlayStation Now service does at the moment. This would mean, guys, that the specs wouldn't have to matter so much and players will still be able to enjoy that triple A gaming experience. I, though, have some concerns and doubts. I have no doubt that one day this is how we will consume all media right whether it be music movies or video games whatever we'll be streaming them through the internet and that's just how we will consume things however that being said if you stop to think about it one of my concerns is is that when you're watching netflix okay and it starts to load and buffer it's you're kind of already frustrated, right? That your show is buffering and you're just like waiting for it to come, especially if it's a suspenseful moment. But you do know that once it's finished buffering, the video will load and it will pick up right where you left off, no harm, no foul. And, but when it comes to games and you hit that buffer, is that going to really hinder progression and gameplay experience? I mean, what about multiplayer games? I mean, could you imagine you're in a tense firefight in a first-person shooter multiplayer game? Let's say it's PUBG, right, being streamed, and, and you're in the top five, and then buffer. Son of a bitch. No! Are you are you freaking kidding me? Are you seriously kidding me right now? Buffering? God! Think about it. That would suck on so many levels, guys. Many analysts say that the Yeti is setting out to compete with the big three, but right now, 
the big three, meaning Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo, they have one advantage that the Yeti won't, and that is the power to run games locally. So, while I think that the Google console is exciting, I am very skeptical at the moment of its practicality when it comes to function. But that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to leave a like on the video, and if you're new around here, Please hit that subscribe button for more future news talk videos like this one. Also, reviews and let's plays. Remember guys that I love your face and I'll catch you on the flip side. But until then, have a good one. Catch you next time.